Hi, this is a quick demo to show you how we can combine Keycloak and the ETO JOT authentication proxy. So, this is a demo just running the Envoy proxy, it's not running inside Istio for now. But, uh, quickly, let me explain what we have. We have one backend service, a simple Spring Boot app, a REST service, exposing just this path here, products, running on port 8080. And then we have the Envoy proxy running here, and it's listening on port 8080. And I have a simple web app that will make a call to the REST endpoint, but that will go through the Envoy proxy. So if I go to my web app, so here it's a regular web app protected with Keycloak, I'm redirected, I log in. Here I log in, and here when I will press this button, I will do a request through the Envoy proxy and it will verify my token, retrieve the public key from Keycloak. So, and you can see it's working, and if I try to access the REST endpoint without any header, you can see that the proxy, the Envoy proxy returns a no authorization header. Uh, quickly, how do I configure the Envoy proxy? It's pretty easy here. We have our envoy.conf file. And here the important part is the filter. It's how I configure the filter. So here I configure my JOT authentication filter. And basically what I do for the issuer, I point that to my uh, Keycloak instance. Here I have to specify the uh, list of audi audiences. So, which resources are allowed to access um, the service. And uh, this part is to tell the proxy how to uh, get the public key from Keycloak. And that's it. So, it's a first step. Uh, next step will be to put that inside uh, Istio itself. Thank you.